At this recycling center in Boulder, Colorado, a blur of hands separates plastic, glass, and paper into over a dozen categories. It is hard, grueling, tedious work to sort out all those materials. And that, along with the cost of recycling, not to mention our consumption and carelessness, means only 69 million of the 292 million tons of waste we throw away each year is recycled, sold, and reused. And Suzanne Jones, whose nonprofit runs this place, says staffing it is hard. And these aren't jobs that people are clamoring for. Now, automation and artificial intelligence are part of the process. A good human sorter is still better than a robot. Pretty tried. And However, yeah. robots don't need lunch breaks, they don't call in sick, and they don't need to go on vacation. Right. And they right. can work a double shift. Yeah. This one, made by Colorado-based Amp Robotics, uses machine vision and a vacuum grabber to pick out what it can. And according to CEO Matanya Horowitz, the lease costs roughly the same as one or two workers' annual salary. We identify hundreds of different, like, sort of specific types of things, uh, but we're always teaching it new things. And as the AI learns at this company lab how to tell pieces of plastic from sheets of paper, it also learns how to grab them. In the future, it'll go for the flat spots and get better and better over time. Uh, would it be the case that, that if you smash this thing up a million different ways, it will eventually learn all million possibilities? Well, even better, it, it learns to generalize. In addition to the million, it'll learn the million and one that it's never seen. And the AI can learn the exact chemical composition of each item, allowing it to not only fingerprint which company it came from, but also sort the stuff so exactly, recyclers can guarantee customers a purer form of recycled plastic or paper, not one that's mixed up with materials humans might miss. When you total up the value of all the stuff that we put up in the garbage, you end up with these colossal figures, hundreds of billions of dollars of commodities that right now the world doesn't have access to because the sorting problem is too hard. This is the river of refuse that flows from us each day. But if AI makes it possible to see its contents more clearly, it could become a pool of materials we never throw away. Jake Ward, NBC News, Boulder, Colorado. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.